Nityanandam. Nityanandam. Yesterday, as I was going through our, uh, I was going through Facebook. I noticed something. I'll show it to our viewers. So you can see it's actually a toilet seat cover, and a picture of Ganesha is painted on it. So this is not an isolated incident, to be frank. I'll mention another one. See, around I think October 2016, there was a company in Belgium. Its name is uh, some Mosquito or something. So they were actually selling a beer with a picture of Ganesha. He was holding a knife on one hand, and uh, on a, in the other hand, there was uh, meat, I think. And uh, one of my friends, he is in Belgium. He actually told them that he's not okay with them. And they, those guys actually called the cops and the cops interrogated my friend. And uh, then I said, okay, okay, don't worry. We'll take it, I'll take it separately. You don't need to get involved in all this. Um, you know, I, 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 because he did his part. Now I wanted other people to call that person. So we got his phone number and we started calling from all over the world. And that guy is not picking up. I tried calling many times, but he was so afraid he didn't pick up. So that is September and I think in June, around June 8th, he finally removed the thing from his beer bottle. But that was because of some other organization who was on it. He still retains an elephant. But okay, at least it does not look like Ganesha. And I checked up with, checked with a few of my friends, they said, okay, this is better. At least they are, it does not look like Ganesha, they are not directly doing it. So, what do you feel about it, ma? It just, it amazes me at the audacity that people have of, it's outright abusal of Hinduism. It's outright abusal of the sacredness of something that we cherish. See, I don't know if people saw this picture that's here, but it's Ganesha, he's holding toiletry items in his hands. So these sacred symbols that are usually in his hands have been replaced with a comb, a, um, a mirror, what initially, see, it's such a psychological kind of a manipulation. When you see something like that, the initial kind of a cutie cutie feeling that you get, look at how it's portrayed. It's yeah. pink, it's cuddly, always oh, holding a comb and a mirror. What's wrong with you? That kind of a, you can see that argument would be put forth. Like, can you not appreciate that it's just a joke? But you think about it. Would anyone have that kind of a bravery to depict the Prophet Muhammad holding something in his hands in that way, holding whatever, whatever it is that you want to uh, In fact, there? let us not even go to that extent. Let us say, um, you know, somebody's parents. Mm. Can you, you know, make a picture of them or make even a cartoon art of picture of somebody's parents and put it on a toilet cover? I don't think so. No, no way. No way. It's yeah, that that will hurt that person. It will be like you have planned to be abusive only then you will do it. Mm. And uh, also this is not an isolated incident. There are other beer brands who use Shiva, who use Ganesha. For some reason I don't understand. All these beer companies, they are obsessed with Ganesha. I know for sure. If you search the internet, all, my, uh, all our viewers, um, if you search the internet you will find. Just go and search Ganesha and beer. And you'll just see the kind of results coming. There are series of such uh, products out there. I think, uh, I don't know if you are aware, They're, they actually even made a house mat with Ganesha picture. No, Floor I'm, not, mat. I'm not aware. No, come so on. So they removed it. Even this toilet cover, they removed it. It was priced $85. They removed it. Mm. But somewhere, do you think we Hindus are being fanatic about symbols? Is this how the others, uh, this the secular liberal media would project it? Do you think we are being very um, fanatic over our uh, deities or gods? No, images. this is not overly sensitive. Like I said, this is something sacred to us. If we don't stand up, see this is such a manipulative way of infiltrating and already how Hindus see themselves is in such a low esteem. It's just another way of throwing another punch. See, it's making us feel like we're not okay with um, with something that we should be standing up for, right? It's just it's done on purpose, 
I think you're blind if you can't see that it's it's like it's purely strategic. Mm -hmm. So, what I get from this is, uh, let's say another thing these uh, media people will have to say, they'll bring up something which is completely unrelated. They would bring something which is completely unrelated. For example, they'll say, oh, there is so much poverty in the country and these people are interested in, uh, you know, deity worship or something. So how would you answer to such people? If you're interested in deity worship, if you're interested in promoting Hinduism, then do it from the right context and the right light. It doesn't have to be by putting Ganesha on a toilet seat cover. There's so many other ways that you could understand and promote this uh, No, this no actually what they, are tr they would be saying is that you should concentrate on poverty rather than on deity worship. If that is the kind of a question which media puts, how should we answer it? So, yeah, so that is what these people basically do. They, they will somehow try to, you know, distract us and belittle us. And uh, they would not appreciate that Hindus are very non-violent and very accommodating of other people. So, see, I'll give you an example. Let's say uh, I'm a thin guy. Maybe not, but let's say I'm thin. And you call me, hey, you're, you're skinny. You might be factually right. But you know, if it is going to hurt me, you should not say that. That is called consideration. Mm -hmm. So some people are there, they have a certain belief or a thing and we, they think they are right. Okay, even if I give them the benefit of doubt and say, okay, you are right. Does it mean that you are going to bulldoze your thing on anybody? Mm -hmm. See, there are so many people who don't connect with the deities. Does it mean you are going to bulldoze your lifestyle and your thought trend on everybody? Mm -hmm. So that is what... Uh, the people and the are doing and this media has been constantly uh, abusing us finding some or the other excuse we might not always have a logical answer means what you're going to just uh, step on us when you know it hurts that means you're very clear you want to that's the only intention you have see because if somebody is saying why don't you help the poor what has media done about the poor nothing so they are just wasting time our time and earning money at the end of the day. So, anything final messages you would want to share? I feel that we shouldn't get uh, stuck in this trap of feeling like we're being fanatic about these things. It is our duty and our obligation to stand up and when we see anything like, uh, like this present itself, don't just be loud, make an uproar about it. Make it very clear that we are not okay with this. It is not cute and we will not stand for it. Okay. Thank you, ma. Thank you. So, we'll meet you again, guys.